everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I want to say thank you to Marsha, Mush and Stuff. She's also doing the, the no sugar challenge that I'm doing. I took all the sugar out of everything that I drink, so there's no sugar in our coffee. And she took the sugar out of her coffee, and I think she even gave up drinking soda pop. So, And she's increased her water, which is good. And she's noticing a little difference in her her skin and I don't know exactly all, but she is noticing a difference. So those of you that want to take the sugar out of your coffee, join us and take it out. You have to do it all at once, I think. Mm -hmm. It's the only way take I think. I don't think you can do it little by little because it doesn't taste right. And then you think, oh gee, I just need a little bit more. And then a little bit more, so I just take it all out. And I do put half and half in mine because I can't drink black coffee. I wanted to also, let's see what, um, I forgot to mention yesterday with the sign language, I did have a deaf child for a short time. There was a little girl that didn't know any signing at all. And they needed to place her in foster care. And there was only my home and one other home that knew how to sign, so they sent her to me. And when she realized, the first thing that she realized was something meant something, because I did the, the sign for book. And she didn't understand, and so I said, book. And I got the book, and then I said, do you want me to read the book? And then she, it was like all of a sudden, a light bulb went on. So she started pulling me. She wanted to know, what's this? And she kept pointing to things. She wanted to say what it was. It reminded me of the Helen Keller story, where when Helen finally realized water meant water, the W-A-T-E-R meant water. And so I had to get my book out because there was a lot of things I didn't know how to sign. And so we would look them up, and then I would show her. Well, she ended up staying with me for a very short time, and then they sent her to St. Mary's School for the Deaf, where she became a residential student there, and she bloomed. She went from not knowing a single sign to being very, very fluent in it. That was something that I forgot to mention. mention. And also somebody else mentioned about teaching young babies to do signing. I did that and it really stops the tantrums because now they can communicate. If they're thirsty, they'll do drink. And if they want something to eat, like cheese, they used to like cheese and this is the sign for cheese. And cracker, they used to want that. And toast, toast is like, if you think of a fork, the toast goes through the, the bread and they would roast it on the fire. Where a potato is, you poke the bread, the fork into the potato. This is potato. So those are two signs. And if you want to learn these things, you have to practice. This is practice. <laughs> Somebody yep. else mentioned that a few signs now and then would be nice to help learn. So those are a few that you can try and see if you can remember them. Now we're going to talk about eggs. <laughs> yeah, I looked up, because I had done a video a long time ago about eggs, and it was about the egg carton and the numbers on the side of the carton, what they meant. You always know that they say um, to to Best Buy, and these, these were Best Buy January 2nd, but there's also other numbers there, and there's the P with the big long number afterwards, and that tells you the plant that it was, was um, packed at. at. Then the number that's next to that is a 324. Like, what is 324? Well, that goes according to a calendar. So there is a guide, and Julian. it's the Julian calendar is what it is. It's very little, very tiny. It's even too tiny for me. But 220, 224, or 324, that goes by, the number 324 was November... I found it earlier. 324 is November 19. These eggs were supposedly put in this carton um, on the 324th day of the of the Julian year, and they're good till January 2nd. But I had also mentioned how old eggs are when they get to the store. On average, how old are eggs in the grocery store? Well, 
It, they're about two months old before you even buy them. By law, an egg can be sold for up to 30 days after the date it was put in the carton. And the farmers have 30 days to, to get them to the to the, to the um, packager. packager. Yeah, That means those supermarket eggs can be two months old by the time you buy them. And how long are they stored? Store-bought eggs good for after the sell-by date or use-by date? They have four to five weeks, and that's how long they're good after, after that date. Refrigerated Ross shell eggs will keep without significant quality loss for about four to five weeks beyond the sell date or about three weeks after bringing them home. A general rule is to follow is that the eggs that look or smell odd, you should get rid of them, of course. You would not eat those. And do eggs de need to be refrigerated? That was something else I had mentioned. Well, in the United States, fresh eggs um, are commercially produced. Eggs need to be refrigerated to minimize your risk of food poisoning. However, in many countries in Europe, and around the world, it is fine to keep the eggs at room temperature for at least for a few weeks. If you're still unsure, refrigerate and be safe that way. So if you don't know, you just refrigerate them. And how do I make my eggs last longer? They have a natural coating on them called the bloom that makes them resistant to bacteria. So they'll stay fresh longer if you leave them alone. Like my farm fresh eggs, I don't wash them before I, I only wash them just before I'm going to use them because they've got the natural bloom on them. Just place them in an egg carton, large end up, and this will help to keep the yolk centered. That's the reason they want the large end up. I couldn't remember why. Mm. It will help keep the yolk centered. Store them in the in a main compartment of your refrigerator. You never store them in the door. And you know, a lot of manufacturers will put those little egg things in the door. They shouldn't be there. They're supposed to be where it's colder, is where they're supposed to be. Okay, well, that's that's it. And this was the paper that I printed out, just so you could see the the numbers maybe a little better. This one, this one was a used by date was 427 2018 so this is an old this is an old paper and it was packed at this is the packing number it's got a p in front of it it was packed at um 1831 one, one. um that factory and the date was 08 so that would have been the 8th day of of January yeah. no 088 88th, 88th day. day Whoops, yeah. sorry. That would have been, I don't know what day that is. The 88th day. you got to go by their calendar. So if you want to know what 88 days was, I don't know what it was. I'd have to find it. I didn't even it should look. should be in Let's see. March, I think. Uh, yeah, it's March. March 29th is the 88th day of the year. <laughs> so... That's interesting, but this calendar works as long as there's 28 days in February. When you get a 29th day, then it throws this calendar off a little bit, but that doesn't matter unless you really, really, really want to get extra fresh, fresh eggs. And fresh eggs are a lot harder to peel than the older eggs. That's why the store-bought eggs are so easy to peel. They just peel like a dream. Hard-boiled. Or hard-boiled, yeah. yeah, when yeah. you hard-boil them. Well, I think that was everything I wanted to say about eggs. So we are we are done. And I guess I mentioned everything I wanted to. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.